Hi, this is Riyan from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'm going to deploy Checkpoint R81 in a standalone mode. As you know that there are two main components in Checkpoint, which are Security Gateway and Security Management Server. Security Gateway is the engine that enforces the security policies and it is managed by the Security Management Server. Security Gateway is the firewall module which will do all the work. On other hand, Security Management Server is the application that manages, stores and distributes the security policies to the security gateways. Security policies written on the management server will be enforced on the firewall module or we can say on a security gateway. When we install both components on a same server, that will known as a standalone checkpoint deployment. In the last lab guide, we have already installed the Checkpoint Guy operating system in Oracle VirtualBox Virtual Machine. After installing the Checkpoint Guy operating system, we need to perform the first time configuration wizard to install Security Gateway or Security Management Server module on Guy operating system. This is our Checkpoint Gaia R81 virtual machine with the name Checkpoint R81. IP address assigned to this virtual machine is 10.6.8.1. Let's log into this virtual machine. Username is admin. Let's specify the password and hit enter key. Here we can see the message that in order to configure your system, please access the web user interface and finish the first time configuration wizard. Here I'm going to run command show interface and which is going to be our interface ETH0. This is our management interface. And here we can see the IP address of this interface, which is 10.6.8.1 slash 24. There are two methods to complete the first time configuration. First is export mode. Uh, export mode is CUI based mode, which we can directly perform on Gaia operating system. The second method is by using web based graphical user interface mode. And in that we can access the web interface using the web browser to complete the first time configuration. In this lab guide, we will use web-based graphical user interface mode for the deployment. So let's jump to our second virtual machine, which is Windows 10 virtual machine. This is our Windows 10 virtual machine. Uh, both are Gaia virtual machine and Windows 10 virtual machine are in a same network and both can communicate with each other. Let's check that. I'm going to open command prompt and let's type command ipconfig. And as you can see, the assigned IP address to this virtual machine is 10.6.8.10. Let's type ping and let's specify the IP address of our Gaia operating system, which is 10.6.8.1. Now I'm going to press enter key. And as you can see, we are receiving reply from the IP address 10.6.8.1. That means this Windows 10 virtual machine and our Gaia operating system can communicate with each other. Now I'm going to minimize this command prompt and let's double click on Microsoft Edge web browser. Here I'm going to type HTTPS colon double slash and then you need to type the IP address of Gaia operating system which is going to be 10.6.8.1 in our case. Now we simply need to press enter key. Let's click on advanced as we are seeing this error about certificate. It is telling us that your connection isn't private as currently checkpoint Gaia operating system is using a self-signed certificate. Let's click on advanced and click on continue. At login screen, tap the username and password which we have set up during the installation of Gaia operating system. The default username is going to be admin and then you need to specify the password. Then click on login button to sign in. Here we can see open server platform as we have deployed the Gaia operating system in a virtual box. Let's click on next to continue. Under deployment options, select continue with R81 configuration. Here we have several options like install from checkpoint cloud or USB device as well as recovery options. Let's click on next to continue. You can see the IP address information about the management interface 
and that is 10.6.8.1. Currently, on our Checkpoint virtual machine, we have only attached one network adapter, and which is our management adapter. In case if you have multiple network adapters, you can manually set up the IP address from this page as well. Now I'm going to click on next to continue. Specify meaningful host name for this firewall. If you are using proxy in your network to connect to the internet, that time you need to specify the proxy settings as well. Domain name is optional, then you can specify DNS server's address or other information, which we are not going to set up right now. Again, you click on next to continue. On this page, you can set up the date, time and time zone as per your region. Then click on next to continue. On installation type page, we have two options to select security gateway and or security management installation option, or we can also go with multi-domain server installation. In our case, we are going with the first one. Click next. Now select the components as I'm going for the standalone deployment and that's why I'll select both security gateway and security management. Now suppose if you want to just install security gateway, that time you need to clear the checkbox in front of security management. But we are going for the standalone deployment and that's why we will select both options. Here you can also see information about clustering as well and that we are not going to see right now. I'm going to click on next. Now it is asking us to set up security management administrator's password. You can use Gaia administrator as in security management administrator or you can create a new admin account with the password for security management administrator. We want to create new administrator. So I'm going to select define a new administrator and let's specify the admin name CP admin. Let's specify the password. OK, and let's click on next to continue. Uh, on this page, you can specify GUI management client's IP addressing information. From the specified IP address on this page, you can access the web interface to manage your checkpoint firewall. By default, selected option is any IP address. If you want to specify the local machine's IP address as a GUI client, then you can select the second one. If you want to specify whole network to manage your firewall, then select third one. And if you want to specify on the specific IP address range, that time you need to select the that one. I'm going to click on next. Now click on finish to start the deployment process. Click on yes on confirmation pop-up. Right now it is verifying the configuration which we have selected. And then after it will start installing security gateway, security management and other compatibility packages as well. Once the deployment process completes, the firewall is going to reboot automatically. If you want to restart right now, then click on OK button. And after successful reboot, again you will back on the login screen. Let's specify the username, which is going to be admin in our case. Let's specify the password and click on login. Now this is the Checkpoint R81 Gaia operating system web interface. From this page, you can manage settings like network configuration, system configuration, routing settings, user management, etc. And those options are available here. Network management, system management, advanced routing settings, user management, high availability, maintenance, and upgrade related options you can see here. Here you can also see system overview information uh, like platform, kernel version, build number and system uptime. We can also download smart console setup by clicking on download now link. Using the smart console, you can create and manage checkpoint firewall rules as well as checkpoint product blades. Now your checkpoint firewall is ready to use. We have successfully installed Checkpoint R81 in a standalone deployment mode. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.